the the fur tick. <laughs> Stephen the fur tick. So I want to. I want to uh, do Captain a little. Captain Isagesus? Do a little. The Captain Narsagesus. <laughs> and if you don't know what we're talking about, maybe you could explain that, Daniel. The I, difference yeah. between exegesis, isegesis. Sure. Exegesis is drawing something out of a text, isegesis yeah. is reading it into a text. So, uh, narsagesis is when you read yourself into the text. Yeah. Not Boom. As, uh, Joseph Smith. <laughs> we talk about Mormons a lot, but. Uh, That's really what we're talking about yeah. today when we talk about Stephen Furtick and yeah. an Elevation Church. If you don't know about them at all, it's a giant multi campus church in charlotte north carolina i know they have a presence in canada too i think um but and then obviously a huge online mm-hmm. presence huge there are videos of hundreds of oh, thousands yeah. of views mm-hmm. yeah sermons do yeah and we were just talking one of the clips we were watching which i don't know if we'll get to but like he said something that just literally i don't even understand what he was saying it made zero sense and like the crowd was just, like roaring with like cheering and clapping i was like why are you, why are you cheering you, that didn't make any sense i, I think one of the best ways to understand stephen furtick is that he invited matt chandler to his church to speak once and matt chandler preached a sermon about how god is for god's own glory and not for, mm. and you right. shouldn't you shouldn't you're not the hero of the story and they basically tried to kill that sermon after having invited him to are you speak. serious yeah. yeah and that's a great illustration of what we're talking about yeah when we talk about this i first yeah. found out about stephen furtick i think it was three or four years ago i heard his name i was like who's that yeah and everyone at the church we were going to at the time was going crazy playing his sermons and all that and then i started to listen to some of the things he actually had to say and then there was a video um that dropped with him talking about the law of god mm. and how um jesus essentially broke god's oh, law right. that's for the sake about. of yeah. love right right i know that's something yeah. we're going to get into but immediately i just had red flags going up and so i did start to listen to some more and then it's just kind of been on my radar to avoid him because yeah you have a very man-centered man-pleasing structure style of church um, mm-hmm. messages it's all about you it's all about your place in the story well and a very man-centered man-pleasing version of god yes yes well, he's he's a he's basically the soft core version of the prosperity gospel word of right. faith yes, heresy for sure yeah. that uh, you point. see in those things like he, he teaches it but he teaches it in such a way that it's palatable to the Southern, you know, mm-hmm. Baptist type person. In the because South. he's a graduate, right? He's, he's yeah, a he master's yeah, of he went to, divinity he went to graduate. Southern seminary. Yeah, because I think he started out pretty solid, didn't he? I don't know. It just seems like... Yeah, I mean, the, he went to a solid place, but it, it doesn't, that doesn't... It just seems like like the more popular he gets, the more crazy he gets as well. Right. Huge following, huge church. Um, That's probably the main thing. Well, and obviously, like, dynamic and he's 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 youthful. He's a good Good orator. He gets everyone fired up. You know, it's intense when he, you know, he just, it's just like, you know, the the emotional, you know, building up and and getting everyone worked up into a frenzy as he speaks. And the thing that people maybe haven't made the connection is that elevation church is home of elevation worship um mm. so you know whether or not you've heard of stephen furtick um if you're a christian you've probably heard worship songs from elevation and didn't right. know it right. so, um, that, so. that illustrates how important worship is to um to the church because you think about like there are churches out there who are the most influential in the realm of music Hillsong, Bethel, right. Elevation. Jesus These are culture. places with yeah. with he- that teach heresy, just mm. downright heresies, and yet those are the songs that we're continuing um, to sing all over the world because of their influence in music. Yeah. Speaking of uh, Hillsong, did you watch that that video I shared? <laughs> The, uh, yes, that was horrible. Oh my did goodness! Did you see it, Joy? The part where it's he's like, the, "Enlarge uh, my border, enlarge yeah, my border." The, uh, what's that? What are those called? Um, oh, I can't think of the, what they're called now. The super deluxe it was a super deluxe one of, and it was like it was um, Carl, Carl Lenz, Lenz, Justin Bieber, Justin Bieber, and my favorite part though was like they were doing this interview and the Bieber just busts out a little toothbrush. <laughs> 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 kind of reminded oh me of you God. with your flossers. How you yeah. go around with your flossers yeah. after you. Oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah.